A few weeks ago, I was in Ghana at the Africa Science Academy, a, cool, a school I created there for girls to study science and technology. Uh, we collect girls from across Africa, the brightest we can find, and we do serious science and maths together. And I sat down with them and I said to them, let's have a conversation about what I think is the emerging technology that is going to have the most profound impact on Africa over the next 20 years. And I said to them, we need to talk about artificial intelligence, AI. That is the most important thing that is going to hit our continent. We are at the start of a wave of AI, a revolution in AI, and it will impact every industry across Africa and across the world. It is absolutely profound. And you know the important thing, at the heart of AI are the algorithms that drive it. That is the most important thing because the algorithms define the future. And people forget that algorithms are not just technical, they are political and cultural. Let me give you a simple example. If you type the words beautiful baby into Google, the algorithms will instantly, in a fraction of a second, give you back what the algorithms have decided a beautiful baby looks like. This is what a beautiful baby looks like. A beautiful baby does not look like you and does not look like me. It looks like what the algorithms say it looks like. And you know why that is? I'll tell you why. Because you and me were not in the room when those algorithms were defined. If we are going to be part of defining the future of Africa, because AI will drive the future of every industry, we need to be defining the algorithms that tell us what the future looks like. What does AI look like at the moment? What's happening? What's really going on? We've come a long way from 20 years ago when IBM, uh, Deep Blue Computer, beat the world uh, chess champion. Last year, Google's DeepMind division released an AI called AlphaGo that beat the world's Go champion. Go is a, it's a game so complicated that apparently there are more positions on a Go board than there are atoms in the universe. The belief was that this game is so complicated, it will take another 5, 10, 20 years before AI can even play it to a competent level. Last year, AlphaGo beat the world Go champion. And this year, a new version of AlphaGo called AlphaGo Zero beat that last version 100 games to nil. This is how fast AI is developing. AI is learning how to drive cars, how to fly planes, how to diagnose diseases. And this is just going on and on, sector after sector. AI is beginning to achieve superhuman performance. And this really, really matters. It is incredibly important. So what does it mean for Africa? AI will touch every industry, from finance to farming. We are on the start of the fourth industrial revolution. This is real. We are at the start of the revolution. The starting gun has been fired. And I'll be very, very honest with you. Right now, Africa has not even lined up on the start line. We are sitting in the Lagos Yacht Club, <laughs> drinking crude oil from champagne glasses, patting ourselves on the back at how clever we are. Meanwhile, South Korea has committed nearly a billion dollars to its AI industry. China has said it is going to create an AI industry of $150 billion over the next 20 years. Where is the pan-African billion-dollar investment in AI? Where are the thousands of young people who are training to be machine learning specialists, data scientists, AI specialists? This really, really matters. The jobs that we love, the accounting jobs, the legal jobs, the investment banking jobs, all those jobs will be swept away over the next 20 to 30 years because AI can do it faster, cheaper, better than you can. All those jobs will be lost in time like tears in rain. They will be gone. <laughs> it is true. So you need to understand how important this is. We're here talking about an African metamorphosis. 
But what are we changing to? Metamorphosis is about profound change. What are we changing to? We are at the start of the fourth industrial revolution. And the beauty of that is that nobody knows how it's going to play out. No country anywhere in the world has an inbuilt advantage. It's nothing to do with the resources you have in the ground. It's to do with what's in your head. Therefore, Africa can play at this game just as well as any other country. And if we're going, and if we're going to do that, we have to start playing. We have to get on the pitch and we have to play. So, we, yes, we need to transform. We need to transform to a new Africa. We need to transform to a smart Africa. We need to transform to an intelligent Africa. Thank you.